As you can see, we're not in his range, but when I drag my gorilla player into his range, he will start chasing me, and then, boom, teleported. He'll start chasing Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another Girl Tech Fan Game Tutorial. In today's Girl Tech Fan, ta fan Game Tutorial, I'll teach you how to add a working horror with a jump scare. Okay, the first thing you need to do is go to my Discord link in the description, go to horror stuff, download these three things, hit this button to download this, hit this button to download this, then hit this button to download this, and then go to enable, download this, and disable, and download this. Now what you need to do is, I'm just going to make a new folder to keep all these new things I've downloaded in, just to make my thing more tidy. Okay, now in here you want to import all your scripts, enemy kill, the enemy controller, and your enable and disable scripts, and then hit import, import. And then once you're done that, hit import package, custom package, then select respawn thing, unity package, hit open. It should just say this, just hit import. Okay, now once this is done loading, you need to look for your respawn box thing. Your respawn box, and just drag this into your scene. It should look like this. What you need to do is color it just by selecting everything and making everything black. So you need to make sure everything is black okay, because it's just the required color needed. You should have this respawn box thingy now. This is going to be where the jump scare will play, so keep this. So once you're done that, you need to go plus, create empty, call this enemy, and then right click 3D object or just anything and import your actual horror model. So import your horror model into this. I'm just going to do a cube. Make sure your actual model doesn't have a collider on. And then go to enemy. Give it a new tag and name this tag enemy with a capital E. Okay. So if I go to my enemy, tag enemy. Then what you need to do is add a controller a you need to add the enemy controller script this that script was made by flimsy and then you need to add the enemy kill script which was made by me uh, then add a rigid body uh, open up constraints turn on these three and add a photon view add a photon view say unreliable on change to re reliable delta compressed and then add a photon transform view make sure this is on auto find all on photon view by the way then just close these okay now what you need to do is you need to where it says gorilla player on your enemy kill script just search up gorilla player set it to that where it says respawn point, this is where your respawn point's gonna be. So go to your respawn box where it says respawn, just drag in respawn. This is basically gonna make it so your player will respawn uh right about here ish. You can raise yours up if you want. I, that's what I'm gonna do right now. I wanna make it so they spawn at the top of the box so there's more time for the jump scare to play. Back to your enemy, uh where it says move speed, set that to four. Where it says chase range, you can set that to like twenty, but I'm gonna keep mine as ten. Uh, where it says time to show game object, keep that as two. Now what you need to do is you need to go to your gorilla rig. You need to go to gorilla player, go to main camera, and then go to assets, resources, photon VR. Drag your player into your main camera so you can see it. And then you need to add a, a black box around your player's face, so just add a black box. I'm gonna do that really quickly. adjust this to however you like. I'm going to make mine like this. And then texture this black. And then just texture this black. We'll make sure this doesn't have a collider. Then uh, inside of this actually add like your your player model. That's you no know, your horror model. Like your AI model. Also make sure it doesn't have any colliders. So this is basically what's going to happen when you get jump scared. This is this is gonna show if you get what I mean. So just make sure this is actually a size where you can see everything. Go to your actual like model, like your horror model. Go to window, go down to animation, hit animation, hit create, rename this to like horror, hit this little button here, and then every time you move this, this is gonna be like your jump scar, so animate it like your jump scar. So every time you move this, just make it like quick. 
So it's like scary like this. That's gonna be my jump scare. Just make sure your animations on always animate. Rename like your actual whole jump scare thing. Make sure it's in a group and call it jump scare. And then drag your jump scare into main camera and then disable it. And then you can delete your player also from your main camera. Okay, now you need to go into your respawn box, go to cube. You might want to bring this up, but when your player hits this, it's going to play the jump scare. Just make sure that your cube has an enable script on. And then make it so it enables your jump scare in main camera. And then go to cube 49. And then add a disable script. By the way, your cube, your cube on cube 49 might not actually be able to be visible, but you can just turn back on the mesh renderers. Add a disable script and make it so it disables the jump scare. And then, as I was saying, you might want to bring your cube up so the jump scare plays longer. Just make sure that your respawn point is above it. And then what you need to do is you need to click on all the cubes inside click on every single cube inside of your respawn box and make a new layer call your new layer walk through this just makes it so you'll actually be able to teleport through the box i forgot to say this in the video but make sure that layer is on every single cube in your respawn box oh there's one thing i forgot to do for the enemy quickly hit add component then add a collider you might want to make your a box collider capsule collider just whatever works well with your model since mine's literally a box i'm adding a box collider add two of them and then make sure one of them has his trigger on and then go to your gorilla rig go to your gorilla player go down to capsule and then in your capsule add another capsule collider capsule collider add your second capsule collider on his trigger or you have his trigger on set the radius to two where it says tag set that to enemy and then what you need to do is you need to go to your left hand controller and your right hand controller click on both of them right click add a sphere on both control on both controllers then select both of the spheres set their tag to hand tag turn off the mesh renderer make it on his trigger set the radius to 0 0.05 and on on each of these controllers copy your sphere so you have two of them and then on your copied ones set the tag to player with a capital p player with a capital P so as you can see on my new spheres I've got player with a capital P player with a capital P and that should be everything that I'm working hard to real time fuck yeah well, that should be it and then hit play as you can see we're not in his range but when I drag my gorilla player into his range he will start chasing me and then boom teleported he'll start ta chasing me Boom, teleported. As you can see in here, main camera, when he kills me, jump scare enables. So if I go to my game, the jump scare plays when I'm falling. So let me just do this. Ready? I'm going to die. Boom, jump scare. Okay, to finish off this tutorial, go back to your respawn box. Go to cube and cube 49 and just turn off the mesh renderers. That is how you add working horror to your girl tech fan game.